and welcome to this tutorial in Maya and Unity. Today I'm going to show you how to export this animation to Unity. What I have here is a simple run cycle, okay? And I will show you how to export it. So first thing first, I used to have a um, reference of the animation here, so I still have the namespace. What I did was to reference, go to reference editor and select the reference file import object from reference but I, I have this space hitting 04 which I don't like because it's going to be a huge name unity and I don't like this order so window general editors namespace editor select uh, the namespace delete merge with root and now I have a smaller name so it's not exactly like mandatory step that I just did but I think it's better just because of the name so you have to take in consideration that the rig has to be created for video games because if you make something uh, with another thinking in production you may have some troubles with exporting okay um let me know if you want a tutorial on how to create video uh, rigging for video games i will make like a series of it if you want but it has to be like huge <laughs> so well then uh, well, I have here an FBX export and I have like all the joints I need to export and the geometry. So I'm going to select all the joints, go to edit, keys, bake simulation. Okay. And now I have, I have one key per frame. Awesome. After that, you can even delete the rig if you want. It's not necessary, but you can do it. And it's going to still work in it. Select the FBX export and go to File. And you can, well, you can go to Window Settings Preference Plugin Manager and search for FBX. And you can turn on all of uh, both this one and this one. If you're having issues by importing it with Game FBX Exporter, you should use this one to see what the errors are. But um, I think maybe this will work like nicely. So I'm selecting this file, game exporter, and select export selection. Go to turn on animation. If you want to triangulate a smooth mesh, will be nice, smooth mesh. And blah blah blah, and then find a, a something to put the. In this case, I'm going to put it here, and the name is going to be Kitty Run. Uh -huh. Export. It says export successful. Now go to Unity, create a new project. In this case, I'm putting 3D. Wait for it. It's creating the project currently. Okay. If you have like the white uh, interface it's okay, it's normal, it's just that I have license because I'm working in video games currently, so my company paid for the license, which is great, but it doesn't matter the color of the interface. Um, I'm going to put the animation of that I already exported, I think it was in here, I think. In here, I'm sorry, and just uh, put it in here in assets. So it's going to be the kitty run and some materials, the geometry, and the take 001 is going to be the animation. If you select it and you go here, you can play it to see how is it looking. Okay, looking good, awesome. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is to Select the kitty run, 
and go to brick. Uh, in in terms that I have like a tail and and some uh, ears and something like different from human, I'm keeping generic. Uh, in avatar def definition, selecting create from this model root. I'm selecting the root joint. Uh, no, actually the root joint itself. And skin weights, I'm selecting for bones and apply. By doing this, I'm creating this avatar in here that is called Kitty Run Avatar. Okay, you don't have to touch this more. Then I'm going to select the Kitty Run again, go to animation and select this uh, loop time. So it's going to run over and over and over again. Okay, like endlessly. Then I'm going to put the kitty run into the hierarchy of the scene, then apply. And it's there somewhere. You can hit F. Ah, sorry, I mean game. I'm so sorry. Now hit F. There he is. And um, well, this part I really hate it to be honest. But you have to check the camera and check the rig. Okay. And let's put something like 300 or something because it's like really small. Maybe this is too much. Yeah, well, this is too much. Maybe 80 or something. 100. Yeah, okay. And then just check. And take a look. Okay. Let's see how it looks because I'm not sure. You can hit play. It's not going to move. Okay. There we go. Awesome. Uh, something else you can do is to add some uh, material, new material to... Oopsie. You can go here and select material and put a name like kitty uh -huh. and in here you are going to put the texture so you can import the texture which I think is in source images cut cut full uh -huh. and well you should make like some folders for this but yeah so now the material has the texture and is already in the model you can also change the light if you want okay so it's looking quite better in the preview yep awesome okay so now the only thing remaining is to add the animation. So I'm going to select the, the kitty run, uh, right click, create a animation controller. Then go into the kitty run and look for take 001 and drag it to M3 in here. Okay? And then you can select the kitty run inside the hierarchy of the game in the in the viewport, right? And then uh, you can see here the controller and just go to new, just put the new animation controller here. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> Let's hit play. There we go. We are in the game. And we have the cat running. 
So I f hope this is helpful and thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you like my content. See you next time.